We have already talked about the benefits of coffee on our channel, also why you shouldn't add sugar to your coffee, why not add milk or drink it black, and even listed some natural alternatives for coffee for those who want to leave caffeine behind. But today's video will show you the healthiest way of drinking coffee, according to science. Do you know how? According to researchers, drinking coffee can bring benefits to our health, but only if done in a certain way. But before starting the video, we would like to know, do you like coffee? Is this video being useful? If this video is helping you, leave a comment and don't forget to leave a thumbs up to help our channel. From espresso to cappuccino, there are hundreds of different ways of brewing and drinking coffee. And in the last few years, we have more and more methods of roasting and brewing coffee. Filter, press, infusion, induction. Have you ever heard these terms? Stay tuned, we might teach you the advantages of each method in the future. Did you know that almost the whole world has the habit of drinking coffee? However, the regular consumption of coffee can affect our health if not done correctly. According to a study published at the scientific magazine European Journal of Preventive Cardiology, different methods of brewing coffee were studied, and it was found the best way of drinking it. After following for 20 years the effects and habits of coffee consumption in more than a half a million people in Norway, the researchers found out that moderate consumption of filtered coffee offers a lesser risk of cardiovascular mortality. Did you know that? According to scientists, drinking filtered coffee seems to help avoid diseases and premature death. And even more surprisingly, filtered coffee can even increase longevity. On the other hand, Unfiltered coffee is the most dangerous way of consuming coffee, according to the study. Unfiltered methods usually involve letting the coffee rest in hot water for a long period. Some examples are espresso, French press, cappuccino, and Turkish coffee. Besides that, an unfiltered brew contains substances that increase cholesterol in blood, while the filter removes these substances, which reduces the chances of heart attacks and premature death. Isn't it amazing? The lowest mortality rate was found in people who drank one to four cups of coffee a day, small cups like the ones used for espressos. Tell us, what is your favorite method for brewing coffee? If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.